Welcome back to part three of our new endoscope generation explanation of uh, Olympus Company, our main sponsor. And again, we start with Ingolf Meseke von Rheinbaden from uh, the Olympus team engineer. Now we're talking about a special imaging which has to do with vessels and bleeding. And again, we have this nice abbreviation RDI. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Yeah, RDI stands for red dichromatic imaging. And the idea is to visualize uh, deeper blood vessels. You might remember from NBI that uh, NBI uses uh, green and blue light. The difficulty with green and blue light is it does not penetrate so deep into the mucosal tissue. So deeper blood vessels are actually not seen by NBI. And this is what we're trying to solve um, with the RDI function and also, and you will see that it might be uh, interesting to use this on a bleeding spot. Uh, how does it work? Now we're talking again about an optical technology here. That's why we are looking at different colors across the whole white light spectrum. Um, I just said um, that NBI is uh, using um, green and blue light. Um, RDI is rather using this, this yellowish, an amber color, and the red. Uh, green is also used uh, to um, you know, get the intensity. At the end, the, the amber and the red is what, what makes the difference. As you can see here, the absorption curve of blood um, there is particularly in the range of 600 to 630 nanometers, so between those two colors, um, a steep decline. So if we use particularly uh, something uh, around uh, 600 and, and, and a color around 630 nanometers, we can nicely differentiate whether there is blood or no blood. Um, on the tissue, it would look like this. On the left side, you have normal mucosal tissue without any um, vessels. So all three colors are uh, nicely reflected and you get more or less a representation in white light. On the right side, where you see that the amber color is uh, hitting the larger vessel, it is strongly absorbed. So our reflection is very weak or maybe even not existing, where the one from red is reflected normally, same as in the mucosal tissue. So we can really identify and increase the contrast uh, where we have blood vessels. And um, you can imagine with exactly the same technology, uh, if you're looking at a bleeding spot, certainly right where the, the bleeding site is, we have very fresh blood, so the concentration of hemoglobin is very high. The blood which is already surrounded uh, by this has a lower concentration of hemoglobin and therefore the absorption of the amber is also less than right where the bleeding spot is. So we hope that it is making the, the uh, endoscopist easier to find the bleeding spot. Here is a nice uh, example. On the left side um, you see the white light on the right side RDI and it even looks like you are looking through the diluted blood and you can see the bleeding spot very nicely. Okay, yeah, so uh, also people say in discussions it's more reassuring if bleeding is orange because it doesn't look that dangerous. Uh, but I think we can summarize that there are, there are two purposes and one is to identify a bleeding spot better I don't think it works in massive bleeding where everything is red and everything is orange. But in you know in a bleeding of, of moderate intensity, uh, I think it can be helpful. And the other purpose could be to better visualize the submucosal vessels. And again, uh, we asked Professor Stefan Seewald from Zurich, uh, who uh, is coming with beautiful videos and clinical examples. Stefan, could you explain us? On live cases, the the uh, potentials of uh, RDI red dichromatic imaging. So RDI, our last feature, that's something completely different, isn't it? It's not imaging, purely imaging to characterize the lesion. It has therapeutic implications, or could have. Definitely yes. So please show us some examples. Yes, I think um, RDI is a new feature and um, I think um, we use it for the um, endoscopic treatment of bleeding. 
Um, for small bleedings, we don't need it. I think um, this we accept. And um, also, they, uh, there are no studies really demonstrating that you save time. But uh, what has been shown is that there is a great psychological effect for the endoscopist. So I've chosen now really some severe bleedings. Um, so this is here an ESD and incidentally a vessel is cut and this is a typical situation that you lose the overview. Everything turns red. And, you see um, that it's something ongoing in the middle but <laughs> not there. Exactly, but now using RDI you have less blood and you definitely can better see the source of the bleeding. So in such a situation this is very helpful for sure. CAP is also very important. And um, uh, here we are now uh, coagulating uh, the vessel. Yeah, so the nurse is going for the forceps, so what you could compress the basis with a cap. And exactly, then, uh, yes. So this is a nice example that was a relatively um, more heavy bleeding during the ESD. But um, in this situation, we saved time and we could better visualize um, the source of the bleeding. This is now a very critical situation in a poem, the area of the cardia. Incidentally, a vessel was cut and here you may appreciate the first attempt to stop the bleeding with the regular white light made the situation even worse. All of a sudden, um, everything turns red, you are in the tunnel and the uh, situation is a little bit uh, uncomfortable. So also here, um, by using um, RDI, you have uh, less blood and um, even it is still difficult, but uh, we can nicely appreciate the source of the bleeding is there. And um, yes, now you can precisely place your coagulation forceps and um, you can um, start to coagulate this vessel. Um, here in this case, um, it's not done with only one coagulation. I think um, there were several arterial vessels. Um, so finally, um, even after the first coagulation, there was uh, still bleeding. But here you may nicely appreciate that you um, can control this uh, situation. And I have to admit that um, I would say um, this is a definitely good feature for such critical situations. Yeah, that's always critical at the cardia and poem. And then, you know, you also increase the risk of secondary ischemia to the overlying mucosa if you have to coagulate too much blindly. So anything which helps us for better targeting is likely to improve the outcome. But we don't know. Then this is another example here. This is a very special um, malignant polyp. And um, finally, we decided to resect this polyp because um, the polyp still had a good lifting. But in such a situation, we expect already a heavy uh, bleeding after the polypectomy. So um, yes, here I switched um, immediately with the RDI uh, filter. In expectation of in bleeding. In expectation of bleeding, exactly. And uh, now after the resection definitely it started to bleed. I also, I'm also using the um, cap and now I'm carefully retracting the endoscope and um, now you will nicely appreciate here on the left side there is a huge arterial vessel heavily uh, bleeding and um, I think it's also a nice example that um, you can manage this situation easily by using um, RDI. Good, yeah, we understand. So the orange helps you to look through the blood in some way, a little bit? Somehow, I think the most important is you have less blood and uh, for sure where the blood concentration is highest um, you have the most orange color and um, this is a really uh, great um, novelty. Okay, that's bleeding. RDI doesn't have any diagnostic aspect? Uh, no, I don't think so. It has important diagnostic impact um, also for um, uh, ESD procedures because you may also use the 
um, may use RDI before a resection in order to detect the submucosal vessels better. I have also prepared an example for you. So you have white light TXI I and RDI and uh, I think it's very obvious by using RDI you can best visualize the big vessels in the submucosa and um, I think sometimes when we start with an ESD we have the problems that we start with the injection and already we have created an hematoma and we lose a lot of time and um, oh, it's bleeding from the injection site yeah. <laughs> exactly so I think um, now um, I'm starting the um, submucosal injection always by using RDI so it also has a somehow diagnostic aspect Okay, so, so it's, you think it's, or you feel it's easier to avoid the vessels? Definitely, yes. Okay, so Stefan, thank you very much for brilliantly explaining those features. I think, as you said, an image is the most convincing thing. You can describe a lot of lyrical aspects, but the image is what we need. So thank you very much and My see pleasure. you soon. <laughs>